I met him on a sunny day in late July And everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight no one like Hey homemakers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shirley and I talk about traditional homemaking skills for the modern day homemaker. And today is a special video because I'm collaborating with my good friend Pri. She has a lifestyle and organization channel. She loves to research and share creative ideas, tips and hacks on home decor and organization topics. Like me, she also loves to declutter and organize and truly believes that the goal of organization is to make your life easier so you have more time to spend on the things you truly love to do. If you like my channel, I think you're going to love hers as well. When you're done watching my video, head on over to her channel, there's a link in the description, and leave her a comment telling her I sent you. I promise you won't regret it. And if you're here from Pre's channel, I just wanna say thank you so much for stopping by, welcome. And if you like my content, I hope that you would please consider subscribing and leave a comment down below so that we can get to know each other. Even though IKEA is a Swedish company, they still have a lot of great farmhouse decor that you can snag on the cheap. And I'm gonna have prices listed on the screen as I go through each product. I found some really cute stuff, so let's get started. The first one I picked up, and probably my favorite, is this tear tray. I love the cream color and design details. I put decor pieces on mine because I'm using it in my dining room right now, but I think it makes a nice centerpiece for almost any table. And I also plan on using it for fruit in the kitchen and for cupcakes at my daughter's third birthday coming up. These look so pretty with candles on them or little signs. The possibilities are really endless. Just a quick Pinterest search and you'll get all the inspiration you need. There are so many ways that you can use it and I'm excited to decorate it for all the seasons and holidays. Another favorite I got was this throw blanket. I love the white and cream farmhouse couches, but with a toddler and two boys, brown is a better choice for our family. But I wanted a way to warm up the couch, so I've been on the hunt for a throw like this. All the other ones I've seen left cream colored lint all over my shirt when I would test the softness in the stores. I almost did a backflip in Ikea when I snuggled this bad boy and wasn't covered in lint. I especially like that I can throw it in the washer if the kids get it dirty and worst case scenario if I can't get it clean, I can just replace it instead of having a stained couch. Next to that throw was this one and it was on clearance so I snagged it because I think it'll be perfect for Christmas. It has a beautiful striped design and fringe detail at the ends. I think I want to use burgundy in my Christmas decor, but I haven't opened it because if I change my mind, Ikea gives me a year to return it. That's a pretty awesome return policy, right? Next, I picked up these package of vase fillers. I had gotten some from the Dollar Tree, but those are really small and I would have had to buy a ton of them to fill these huge mason jars. When I found these, I knew they were perfect. They're nice and big, and they would fill the jars really well. They come in a natural color, black and brown, all in the same package, and they're made really well. I also snagged this cream colored pitcher and wooden spoons. It adds an instant farmhouse look to your kitchen. This is their eight inch one, but they also have a six inch one, and you can use it as a vase for fresh or artificial flowers, and I think it would look really nice with some cotton stems in them. Then I saw this strainer or colander. Side note, <laughs> what do you guys call them? I usually call them strainers, but let me know in the comments what you call it. I really don't like fruit bowls, so when I saw this, I figured it was cute and would make a nice fruit bowl, and it has holes in it so the fruit can breathe a little, and it'll help it so it doesn't go bad so quickly. I love these two pieces on my kitchen counter, and I think they look so nice together. With fall almost here, it means my family will be eating a lot more oatmeal. So I picked up these glass jars with lids to make an oatmeal bar. This time I put granola and raisins, but I can change it out over the colder months to give them some variety. I love that it comes with a rubber seal to keep the foods fresh. And I notice when I have healthy foods out like this, they choose to eat them over cereal or pop tarts. The large one would definitely work great for flour and the small one would be perfect for a sugar bowl on your counter. I couldn't go to Ikea and not get some greenery. I got two different ones and this white pot. They look so high-end and they were really inexpensive. Next I got this cutting board. 
I plan to do a DIY and paint it and hang it in my kitchen, but for now we're using it as an interesting poster. But if you are gonna get it and actually use it as a cutting board, they do sell wood oil that you can use to maintain it. This will also look really nice with cheese and crackers for a small get together. The most inexpensive find I got was this dish towel. It was under a buck and a really good size. I like to decorate with these because they add some nice texture, but you could get two of them and sew an adorable pillow for just a few bucks. When I saw this glass bottle with lid, I didn't know what to do with it, but I had to have it because it's so cute. I think I'm going to use it for homemade vanilla extract. The next thing I bought was this carafe. It's meant to be used as a juice container, but I love it as a vase. I think it's so elegant looking and the perfect size for a small bouquet of flowers. FYI, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, check out their flowers. They're amazing and super reasonable. If you enjoyed this homemaking video, then don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my future videos. Again, if you're here from Priest Channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you'll consider subscribing and leaving a comment before you go. But before you leave, don't forget to check out these two videos right here. I talk a lot about homemaking, cleaning, organizing, and life in general. So check out these two videos while you wait. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.